Good morning, Jazzy. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. It is the Monday before Christmas, uh, about five days till Christmas, and I am out in the world doing my very last Christmas shopping. Um, I think I just need to get stocking stuffers for Amanda. And man, no joke, there's people everywhere. Every, everything's crowded. This is like Christmas used to be, like it's busy out here. I can't tell you where I'm going because I might reveal a gift if I did, so see you in a little while. Okay, just stopped by the wine store, and now I have one more stop, then I'm gonna go home and edit and chill, so. That's what's going on today. You saw me nodding my head, right? I just saw another dude with a great beard. We kind of looked at each other and we're like... <laughs> so at work, I've been scanning these pictures for my video, and I think it's neat to scan via Wi-Fi because it's been a long time since I've scanned anything in. So 10 years ago, when you scanned a photo, it was an ordeal. Like, the scanner was slow, and then the high-res file took forever to make it onto your computer. And then once it did make it onto your computer, you were working on a high-res file in Photoshop on an old computer. It's been a pleasant experience to scan on modern equipment. You don't even have to plug the scanner into your computer. Nice. The haze and the clouds all come together with the sun to create this silver fireball in the sky. I like it. I like this time of year. I've already started to hear people whining about the cold. I don't get it. I love this. It's awesome outside. Because of the fluctuations, I might go to work in this final shirt, and then when I leave, it might be 20 degrees outside. So, sure, I might have to run from the van to the car. I might have to go out and turn the car on to let the heat get going before I go out there to drive away. But who cares? It's beautiful and cold outside. I love it. Listen here, guy who was just in the middle of the street and the oncoming traffic coming toward me. Get in your lane. Look what this person's doing. <laughs> Seriously, no joke, that person was cutting in line at the Starbucks drive-thru. Now I've seen it all. This is what happens when we let fifth graders drive. I'm back at the magic store. I never picked up lunch, so Amanda ate a packet of cheese grits. I ate peanuts, um, the ones I got at the wine store yesterday. I'm uploading my video with my Christmas pictures, which was really fun to make. I want to do more stuff like that. Amanda's watching vlogs. I'm packing up, about to do closeout. I seriously had to hit print that many times to get this thing to print. Oh. Uh, It's uploading right now. Still have to lock the doors and stuff. That's how you do the close the books for the day. So while that credit card processor batches, I'm going to fax my orders. I know that sounds crazy, right? Fax machine? When you send a fax, your machine knows whether or not it went through. So when I fax one of my vendors, I know if they got it or not. So fax plays an important role in getting our mattresses ordered. After the fax goes through, a report prints on our side, and it will say OK. And that's how I know that the mattress maker got a piece of paper on their side that says what I wanted to order. If you just send an email or a text, you don't know. You can do the receipt thing, but I don't trust any of that. Once the fax has gone through, we take our actual order sheet on our end, and we have this symbol we draw on it, and then anybody that works, if they see that, they know that it was ordered. Amanda's, defo defosting. Amanda's defrosting the refrigerator, and I'm gonna see if I can help her out. This is what grows in your freezer if you don't refrost. This is what grows in your freezer if you don't defrost it. Success. Now we just lock all the doors. Well, that one's already locked. Did you already lock up? Oh, well, never mind. Amanda already locked up, so I'm not showing you that. I will do the end door. I'll just play this one clip on repeat five times so you can see what it's like to lock the doors. We have to run one of the heaters or the memory foam will freeze. Pro mattress tip, don't let your memory foam freeze. It might not ever feel the same again if you do. So I'm going to trust the internet to finish uploading my video and I'm gonna leave this place while my video is uploading. I normally don't, I normally stay here until it's done, but look. Amanda asks the ultimate question. What happens if I get home and my video never uploads? I will drive back up here and upload it. We're at Los Lupes and 
We're gonna eat some food. I got Amanda a fancy drink. I'm gonna get fajita quesadillas and she's gonna get the fluff to dinner. I had to put this shirt in the washer when I get home, but uh, I'm pretty much done with my food. Amanda's gonna finish her drink now. The food was fantastic. This is Los Lupes on Pioneer in Grand Prairie, Texas. So Amanda is officially the slowest margarita drinker on earth. We've been sitting here for 45 minutes. Not really. Not really. It's so cold. She had to put her jacket on. <laughs> so we're back home now from uh, from eating and that was good. Uh, Amanda came out of there like frozen from drinking that margarita. and. Uh, we're just probably gonna chill for the rest of the night, so this is probably the end of the vlog. In the next few days, I have my Christmas lights vlog coming up, so that's gonna be cool. But anyway, happy holidays to all of you. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. <laughs>